The Foreign Affairs Minister for Denmark, Anders Samuelsson, noted that there have been formal relations between the two countries for many years. Our two countries share a long story, history together, definitely. Also, we have a distant and a dark historical past. Uh, the slave trade uh, is uh, and was a shameful and unforgivable part of the Danish history. Uh, and I would like to, to, to underline that. Nothing can, of course, uh, justify the exploitation of men, women and children in which Denmark took part. Ghana's Minister for Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration, Shelley Ayoko Boche, gave highlights on bilateral discussions held between them. In addition to reviewing the bilateral relations between Denmark and Ghana, we also discussed some of the current global challenges and how our two countries could cooperate in the multilateral system. Our two countries are moving into a new type of cooperation that would focus more on trade and investment. She noted that government is currently taking the necessary steps to create a more business-friendly environment to increase the volume of trade between Ghana and Denmark. They also discussed matters relating to peace and security, particularly in West Africa and the Sahel, and maritime security, which is of special interest to Denmark. The two ministers also deliberated on irregular migration and its associated challenges. We deliberated on the underlying causes such as poverty, pervasive youth unemployment, the proliferation of conflict and endemic instability in parts of our continent. We decided to work together towards stemming the tide of irregular migration, particularly the activities of human traffickers. At the same time, we committed to tackling the root causes of the mass migration. We also agreed on the need to respect the rights of all migrants, including deportees. The two countries also discuss issues on UN reforms, particularly the reform of the UN Security Council to ensure that Africa is well represented. From the Flagstaff House in Accra, Adele Kwesi Mashtu, reporting for Metro News.